slugger field and how the wind blows out as a pitcher what did you what did that do to you or what did it how did that change your approach any or uh no i mean i wouldn't say the wind really changes your approach as a pitcher um i mean you're not up there trying to f throw for fly balls and things like that so i'm more of a ground ball pitcher for me personally so um, no, that's not something I really uh, worry about. What's it like to have this in your home? You know, here you guys don't have to travel. How, how much, how excited is this team to, to be able to do this this week? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, I've been talking about it for a while um, with my family, my friends, just being able to be here in your home and um, not have to go uh, down to South Carolina or North Carolina. I mean, because um, last year we played Wake Forest and all those teams away. Then we went straight to the ACC tournament, and it was just a lot of traveling, whereas this year, you know, we got Florida State, and then we got the ACC tournament here and here at home. So, I mean, you can come here, get your hitting in, get your running in, get your treatment in, and not have to worry about hotels and things like that. So it's nice. What do you expect? I mean, this, this team has been so resilient after a loss and now after three. What do you expect the guys to do with a little time off? How, how, do, how will you guys respond from last weekend? Oh, I mean, I wouldn't say we're too worried about it. I mean, um, I think we're excited. I mean, I think everybody in here is excited. We feel great. Um, I mean, if you look around the clubhouse, everybody's changing their hair and uh, getting their spirits high and things like that. So the losses over the last week or so don't really affect us at all. Is the hair a postseason thing? It is. For most guys? Mm -hmm. Did you do anything? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> What's been the craziest one so far that you've seen? Uh, probably Devin Mann. He got corn rolls. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have had a, a good run of catchers in this program. What, what does Colby do that you know makes him such a steadying force for you guys? Um, I would say him learning from a guy like Will Smith really helped his development. And um, pitching to Colby this year has been a um, a good asset for me because he's called me for three years now. And he knows what my ball does. He knows um, how my pitches work and things like that. And he has a good idea of my plan on the mound. And um, having a guy like that back there is, is a huge asset. But is he? A, how, how do you interact with him? Is he talkative? Is it just one of those things where he just kind of looks at you and you know what he's thinking at this point? Or what's that part of your relationship like? On the field or off? Both. Oh, I mean, Colby's a great guy. He means he never doesn't mean well and um, you can talk to him about anything. Um, we had a baptism this past Sunday for Jake Sparger and um, I mean he was right there. He woke up early on a Sunday morning. He was there in the church. So I mean that just tells you the kind of guy that he is. He's always there for his teammates and uh, he's a good guy. For you, what's the year, I mean, you talked at the beginning of the year about, I mean obviously, you know, Nick and then Zach and the role has been a birdie for six years I guess but to be in that role this year how do you think you've done for yourself and what do you think you know you can do in the postseason for this team um, I just go out there and try to do as best I can I mean I'm not trying to go out there and throw a hundred like the past two guys have been able to do that's not me and um, I'm just going out there I'm throwing my pitches I'm getting my outs and um, I feel like I'm fully capable of getting the job done and my teammates believe in me and um, I know I don't try to think about the past guys and try to be like them. That's just, that's not my approach. Anything else for Lane? When, yeah, when did, uh, when did he get corn rolls? When did y'all give him those? Or when did he do it himself? He, uh, he got them yesterday. He, so he just walked in today with them. And did he, who did it for him? Oh, I don't know who did it. Some, you know how the yeah, I don't know. I don't know who it was. I did them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lane, let's go. Yeah.